Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. You are watching our Cloud School. Today in this demonstration, we will talk about inserting a JSON record into a SQL Server. Let's say you have a data integration scenario wherein you are receiving a JSON object. A JSON object contains a record and that record needs to be mapped to the SQL Server which means that whenever you receive a file, a JSON file, that needs to be inserted into SQL Server. So how, how do you define this data integration requirement with Azure Data Factory? For the demonstration, I have this storage account container where I have a JSON file which has a record. Let's say this is a record which is coming into this this into this storage account and we want to pick up this and insert it into a SQL Server. Now I have a SQL I have a SQL Server database created as in past service. The database is also created. The database name is demo db. I've connected to this database from my Azure Data Studio on my local machine. Now let's use the data factory to define this scenario. So I'll be creating a new pipeline. So I'll click new pipeline that will open the canvas board. I'll use the copy data activity because I want to use or copy the data from the source location, which is storage account. In this case, as our database or the source record is of type JSON, so I do not have any data set which is of type JSON. But if you have, you can select that JSON type right here from this particular section. So let me create a new data set which will represent the JSON type of object. So I'll use the Azure Blob Storage because that is where our files are. And then here I'll use the JSON as in template or file format. As soon as you link to this linked service, you should be able to connect to the storage account container, which is our input container. And in this container, we have this single JSON file. That is what I'm going to use. You can also use multiple file. We know the approach. How do we do that from our previous demonstration? As we are pointing to a single file, so this option is going to be OK for us. Next, we have to define the sync, which is a target data set. And as we know, the target data set is a SQL Server. Now, to define the target data set, I'll use this plus option. And then after that, I'll use this Azure SQL database because our database is in Azure SQL. I'm going to use the data set as an Azure SQL demo and then link service. I'm going to use the same link service which we have created in our previous demonstration just to show you. It is trying to connect to the same SQL Server instance which I have opened here on my local machine, but it's using this, this username and this password. So it's using a basic SQL authentication. Let's test the connection just to make sure that we are still able to connect to the SQL Server. I'm going to cancel this link service because we have not made any changes in that. So link service is OK. Next, you can use this table name. So as of now, we do not have any specific table as such. So for now, I'm going to use this organization table. Sync is ready. Our database sync is ready. But currently we're pointing to organization table and the structure of the organization table is totally different than the structure of the JSON record which we are looking for. So what do I need to do is what I'm looking for is right now I'm looking for an option to auto create the table, right? So I would like to automatically create the table like this. And then I would and for that I want to go to the let's say data set, which is this one. And here I want to edit this option and specify the name of the table. Let's call it as a record table. And what should happen now is a pipeline should move, copy the record from here and it should basically automatically create this table based on the type of argument it has. So let's first of all review or preview the data which is there in the CSV just to make sure that we are able to read the data which is available. So it says that the data is in the array format. So let me go back to the CSV or the JSON source just to make sure that we are having the schema correctly. That's our schema. Let's debug the or validate the pipeline. The pipeline is validated. So I'm simply now going to validate or debug the changes or debug my pipeline just to make sure that if, whether it is working fine or not. 
So the pipeline is successfully completed and it has read one record and it has uh, created or written one record as well. Now, just to verify whether the table and records are created, I'll go switch back to Azure Data Studio and I'll refresh all my tables. And as we can see that we have a new table created automatically. And if I run the query, select star from this table, then that will have a record which we have created just now. Now that is it in this demonstration. So just to summarize, we have seen how do we use a single JSON object to insert that rec record of the JSON object into a SQL Server table. And we have used a dynamic table option to create a record into the table. Now there is a limitation what I have seen right now, maybe I'm not aware about it. The limitation is as we are using a dynamic table, I would not be able to use the offset straight away because offset requires the column names to be provided. And here in this case, I cannot provide the column name because there is no column name available because we are dynamically auto creating the table name, right? Now you can specify the column name directly by uh, if, if you upload the existing schema, but here in this case, as we are auto creating the table, it's not going to be available. So what do I mean by the existing schema is, let's say if you go back to our data sync, in this case, let's say this is my table for an example, right? And if I try and preview this data, right, it's showing the data. Now, if I go back to the edit option, now instead of that, if I just simply select refresh this and try and select this option, which means that it is trying to populate the schema from the actual SQL server table. Now, if I go back to the pipeline now this time, and if I try and refresh this, so what will happen is it will upload the column. It will fill in the column. And now if it will know that these are my column names, which are available in this table and on this I can specify the key column and your pipeline will work absolutely fine. So let me just validate the pipeline and we'll rerun again. So with the dynamic table creation, we were not able to use the upset. Maybe I'm not aware about it um, or as and when I'll find it, I'll, I'll show you how do we do that. But straight away, I was not able to find it out how to use the upset column right for the dynamic version so if you have this static table table already present and if you are loading the schema of the table like we did in our schema so that's our schema that is that is what our schema was clear the schema import the schema that should basically import the schema yeah that's the one so with as the schema is up, upload available already right imported already so now we are able to basically run the upset color command, which means that it will automatically insert or update like we have seen in the previous demonstration, right? So that is it in this video. I hope you have found this useful and you would be able to use the JSON record to insert into a SQL server. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next video.